to know that the Pista is not just some souped up version of the GTB. It actually shares a lot of its mechanical innards with that 488 Challenge race car. I mean, it's got new camshafts, it's got a bigger intercooler, stronger pistons, titanium push rods, but they really wanted to make a much more aggressive car. And they did. Pista, but it's not a standard car. This, this of course is the Novitec version, our version, and it's got more power. Now, this Pista is fitted with a 3.9 liter twin turbocharged V8 engine with a sports performance package. To be honest, it has just over 800 horsepower. But the torque, too short of 900. Oh my word, you are a feisty little girl. got it so right in this car you'd be forgiven for not noticing that it has turbos and maybe even thinking that it's a naturally aspirated car the power is all the way up there but it's the torque that starts the body way early anything from 3000 rpm oh, really really great great stuff Oh, and the brakes are sensational. Good solid feel, transposing the weight to the right areas. It's like a little Jack Russell and you holding the tennis ball. Wow! I think there's one thing to say about this Pista is that it's, it's made so well for the track that maybe it's even a little bit too fast for the open road. My goodness, what a jaw. Ay, 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 ay. Stay focused, get ready now. For real, get ready now. Now, the Pista weighs 90 kilograms less because Ferrari has used a lot of clever components, lightweight components, in order to achieve that, amongst other all the carbon fiber bits that you see around this car. Now, the interesting fact is that this entire bonnet is actually made out of carbon fiber. You can see that over here. And that reminds me of the fact that we also make these carbon fiber hoods, especially for, for example, the McLaren 765LT. If you guys haven't seen that film, I recommend you click on the banner on the top right hand corner of the screen and go and watch that film. This bit here in the front section, the extended lip is from us, air feeds in there through this duct that actually moves right through the car and it gets dispersed over the rest of the car and deals with that in order to keep this pista glued to the road. At the back some of the air gets fed into the vents, some of it goes through here and creates downforce as well. Let's talk a little bit about the pieces that we put onto this car because you see quite a bit of carbon fiber, not all of it is actually from us, a lot as we say belonging to pista because that's just the lightweight version of the 488. Now this section over here is what we have made as well. At the top of the bonnet, you got these little subtle triangles in the front at the door, these little pieces on the side of the mirror. 
And then on the side, you can see the side skirts out of carbon fiber all the way from the front wheel to the back. Now, what's really cool about this Ferrari is the fact that similar to the front where you have that sort of air duct where the air just moves from the front lip right through the bodyworks of the car, you've got the same thing here at the back. This is actually open and I love just how the horse's head is hanging there in the balance. Looks really good, even a certain angle you can see right through the car. At the back wind, of course, we've got this uh, carbon fiber lip from us looking exceptionally good. I love the fact that it sort of just breaks the white, gives it that little edge with a darker color. And then these uh, little caps here on the lights, the carbon fiber caps on the rear tail lights there also from us. They look a little bit back hearkening to the ones that we saw on the 458 Speciale. And if you guys haven't seen that film, feel free to click top right hand corner of the screen. You can have a look at that. And you see a lot of carbon fiber at the back of this car. None of that's ours. That's part of the Pista package, except for the black reflectors over there and the third brake light blackened out. That's also from us. And of course, not to forget the little round blackened indicators. Now, if we walk a little bit away from the car, we can see that it rides low out of sport suspension on those gorgeous looking NF10 center locking look wheels of ours. And it really just aids to the stance of this car, gives it a really gorgeous bulky look. Love the sport suspension. Always makes such a difference. Who? Stay focused, get ready now. For real, get ready now. Let's go. Stay focused, hit the heat come. Concentrate to the sound of the beat drum. The owner of this car did decide not to take the sports performance exhaust, which I would highly recommend should you buy this car. It'll just give you all the power that you can get with that stage two performance package, and it'll give you the noise to match it. Now this Pista is fitted with Ferrari's Magneto Rheological dampers which do an absolute stunning job at keeping you on the road at even really high speeds awfully complicated but very useful it also has an electronic diff and that very much valued infinite ferrari side slip angle control which i'm super happy about now in the standard pista It'll do zero to 100 in 2.8 seconds. and 40 kilometers per hour and that is in standard form now this pista shares the same gearbox as the 488 but they have tweaked it so gear shifts are even quicker and this engine is just so light it spools and spools and spools you can really sense how they put those lightweight components from the challenge race car in here Whoa, really really good balance balance such an incredibly balanced car <laughs> one of the only things i dare to say is that with all of that done it's almost like it's a bit too fast for your standard little road if that's even a negative comment if you guys haven't yet then feel free to subscribe to our youtube channel hit that little reminder button so that you can be reminded every time that we upload a new film you won't miss a single thing you can also follow us on instagram at novitech group or me personally at beyond the cock i'll see you guys in the next film <laughs> Oh my word.